Can a curved surface in three dimensions be made entirely of straight lines? Well, yes. A cylinder is a curved surface, and there's a straight line through every point. But a cylinder is straight in one direction, so it's easy to see its lines. Can a doubly curved surface, like a saddle, be made of straight lines? Surprisingly, yes. Just twist these disks to tilt the connecting strings. You find that between the two extremes of a cylinder and a double cone, there's a continuous range of surfaces like an hourglass, called hyperboloids, and they're entirely made of straight lines. In fact, for any amount of turn in one direction, you could also turn the same amount in the other direction to make the same hyperboloid. This means the surface has two straight lines through every point. It's a beautiful form. Can you imagine making one large enough to walk through? We'll warm up by using shish kebab skewers for our lines and small ponytail rubber bands to join them. It's wonderful how an initially disorganized mess begins to structure itself into such a natural form. Because the crossings are movable, the final result is dynamic. It flexes beautifully, should you want that. But let's try a different trick. You can compress it from the sides to change the circular cross-section into an elliptical form. The sticks tilt, but stay straight. That's because if you stretch or compress uniformly in one direction, you map circles into ellipses, but lines remain lines. So the resulting elliptic hyperboloid is still made of straight lines, though it's more interesting visually. Our plan is to proportion it and sink it into the ground to make an arbor way for people to walk through. We'll practice with some scrap bamboo to get a sense of the engineering challenges at full scale. Flexing this model is fun, but we see we'll want to brace our structure so it doesn't flex. For the full scale version, we first decide how many lines we want. We're placing 24 pieces of 12 foot long bamboo in each direction, making two families of diagonals. This gets rolled up into a cylinder, taking care that one set of diagonals stays on the inside and the other set stays on the outside. The Everything pass. connects with heavy-duty rubber bands designed for outdoor use in agricultural applications. Mm -hmm. Then the structure is stretched and compressed from a circular shape into the elliptical form. Because the sticks now have different slopes, the heights of their tops now vary. So we need to saw off the ends of the longer ones to match the height of the shortest ones. Then we add a ring around each end using pliable pieces that can curve to the shape of the ellipse. This is the bracing that prevents flexing. The plan is to rotate it so it's oriented on its side and people can walk through it. Digging the trench for it to sit in is the hardest part of the job, but when it's installed, it looks great. The result is a unique garden arborway, a triumphant arch that reminds everyone of the beauty of mathematics and how certain curved surfaces are actually composed of straight lines. <laughs>